Hey guys, this is Jade with uh, Metabolic Effect. Just want to talk to you a little bit about the muscle soreness. Delayed onset muscle soreness, or DOMS, D-O-M-S, is the term that's used to talk about uh, soreness. And a lot of people debate this. Should you be sore after a workout? How sore should you be? What does it mean? The idea behind uh, muscle soreness is that you know that your body has responded to a workout, but you don't want to be too sore. So, you know, soreness really should dissipate within 72 hours. So, you know, oftentimes what will happen is within 24 to 48 hours, uh, you will get sore. And the idea is at Metabolic Effect, we use that soreness sometimes to determine how effective our workout was. You can imagine when you tear down muscle tissue and get that inflammatory reaction that causes a lot of this uh, soreness, your body has to repair that damage. And so what it does is it will use its resources at hand, fat, carbohydrates, protein that you eat, as well as fat that's actually on your body to repair itself and get better. So this is part of the afterburn and, and it's probably the most significant part. You know, so when you are sore, it's a good indication that you did enough to challenge your body so that it can burn fat and build muscle. So we say if you're sore 24 to 48 hours after the workout, that's good. If it starts getting into three and four days, probably that's not so good. And that's an indication that you're not fueling your body correctly or your intensity is just too great so you can back it up a little bit and just make sure you fuel your body correctly for the right amount of soreness.